What's up everybody, it's Josh with FL Gardening. Thanks for tuning in to the channel. And last night was the coldest night of the year. I got down into the mid 30s here in Central Florida. So I went ahead and put up these uh, plant blankets to try to protect my tomatoes and my peppers. You can see the tomatoes look uh, much more protected than the peppers do. Kind of ran out of resources on the peppers and just hoped for the best. Um, but let's check it out and see what damage was done, if anything. Um, so the tops of this one looks pretty good. I've been calling this one a Thai pepper, but I found out from the guy I got it from, it's actually a Hawaiian pepper. Um, don't know if that makes any difference to anybody, but I don't really see any damage that happened to it at all even though the top was exposed to uh, the chilling night. But over here, the Vietnamese pepper definitely took some, uh, took some damage. You can see all these leaves look pretty damaged, but the middle of the plant, the heart, looks pretty good. And there's like fruit on it. Um, this one kind of split open. I'm assuming, I don't know if that was the cold or what. But that one's damaged. But everything down there looks pretty good. The uh, the habanero. Let's see. Doesn't look bad. Anything that's touching that doesn't look damaged at all. Um, the plant itself doesn't look the best, but uh, I think the blanket helped it out. I did prop it up with one of these tomato cages to try to get it off the ground. And it definitely seems to be helping. Um, while we're over here though, let's check out the kale. Dinosaur kale. And little uh, dwarf curly kale and onions. All look like they're doing pretty well. They definitely didn't mind the cold at all. There's a little Swiss chard over there popping up looking good. The purslane looks pretty sad. But it's not dead. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this garden fared pretty well, I think. Only minor damage to the Vietnamese pepper. The blanket wasn't put on there the best. I just used a, uh, tomato stick and a couple of clips and just kind of clipped it around them. Um, this is kohlrabi right here. That's doing pretty good. Kohlrabi definitely likes the cold. Um... coming right along. They look really happy and healthy. Got mint, and I'm just letting this weed go crazy because it's in the uh, it's in the corner over here, so I don't think it's really bugging anything. The flowers are probably drawing in bugs. I don't really care. Some people might uh, rip that out of the garden, but I'm leaving it. Uh, I think also since last time I did a garden update, I installed a drip line, drip irrigation, um, and definitely is helping a whole bunch. Makes watering so much easier. Got it going to both gardens, just got this T-joint split. Just cut up a couple pieces, uh, two 16-inch pieces, and then a foot-long piece in the middle, um, a T-joint, and then a couple uh, hose fittings. So that was super easy, it took like 10 minutes to make. Um, the jalapeno, I just kind of let do its thing. Didn't cover it at all, um, and it seems okay. So, yeah, that's cool. Didn't take any frost damage. Onion over here, doing all right. Of course, the basil got crushed. Didn't like the cold at all. Kale over here is doing good. Swiss chard here is coming right along. That one in the back's getting eaten up by something. Uh, but the other two are fine. This curly kale right here is doing fantastic. Ate some of that today, actually. It's pretty tasty. More kale and Swiss chard growing over here. This corner is growing much slower than all the other ones. Uh, not sure if just because uh, of its location, maybe the soil over here is not as good. Um, I don't know. But for whatever reason, they're growing a little bit slower, but still not doing too terrible. The loquat we took in last night, actually just put it in the shed, and it's doing all right. But here is the tomatoes. This was kind of a uh, an ordeal to get covered. It was definitely a two-person job. My girlfriend, Joe, helped me out. 
uh, a lot. <laughs> Without her, I wouldn't have been able to set this up. Um, but you can see I just got a bunch of tomato steaks out here. You want to try to keep this fabric off of the plant as much as you can. Um, but there was a little bit of damage done. You could see anything that was like close to the fabric or touching it. The leaves definitely took frost damage. Um, we just filled these up with a bunch of clips to hold them closed. Let me pop them open so we can take a look. See what's up. So yeah, you could see this took a lot of frost damage. This whole branch did. But overall, on the inside, it's not too bad. Got a tomato up there that's ready to be picked pretty soon. A couple other ones that don't look too damaged at all. Um, got a couple spots on these leaves, but nothing too serious. All the tomatoes, even this one over here, looks pretty alright. So yeah, I would say this blanket did its job. The big thing was just trying to keep the uh, blanket from touching the tomatoes. Because um, I read that that uh, will still cause frost damage. But everywhere that the uh, blanket wasn't touching, looks like this tomato is pretty protected. Um, so yeah, we just I got these off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I got two of them for like 15 bucks, so they're pretty cheap. Um, just did my best to uh, keep them off the tomatoes and covered it up. So I think I'll go ahead and remove these. Um, and yeah, I would say that that was success. I was a little worried about them surviving through the night. But they definitely made it. Um, so yeah, let me know how your garden made it if you're in uh, Florida. I know we just had some uh, cold weather move through. So if your garden made it or didn't make it, put it down in the comments below. Um, my name's Josh. I have a website. It's flgardening.com. Um, it's dedicated to trying to help Florida gardeners uh, grow mostly vegetables, but really uh, probably branch off into anything. Um, so yeah, I hope this video helps you in the future. Prepare for any cold weather that rolls through. And have a good day.